Good evening ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to Cardiology Vibes YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Aurangzeb and today we will discuss myocarditis in a nutshell. We will summarize uh, the whole topic in five points uh, starting from it introduction, etiology, uh, diagnostic workup, clinical presentation and finally treatment. If you are new to my channel, I will request you to please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you receive uh, notifications about our future videos. Uh, also, if you have any questions and any queries, please uh, write them in the comment sections below. So let's begin our lecture. We begin our lecture with the five points and these are etiology, clinical presentation of myocarditis, what are the physical examination findings? How will you work up such a patient? And what is the treatment? Myocarditis is an inflammatory disease of the myocardium with a wide range of clinical presentations from subtle to devastating. It usually manifests in otherwise healthy person and can result in rapidly progressive and uh, fatal heart failure and arrhythmia. Recently, myocarditis has been associated with COVID-19 and, to a much lesser degree, linked to messenger RNA vaccines against COVID-19. When we talk about the etiological factors of myocarditis, so this is a long list. Uh, I will not go into the uh, details of uh, the etiological factors. Uh, but uh, I will discuss the important ones, including viruses, and we know that viral infections are the most common cause of myocarditis in the developed countries particularly. Viruses responsible include the sars coronavirus, virus, enteroviruses, Coxsackie B, adenovirus, influenza, cytomegalo, polymyelitis, Epstein-Barr, HIV-1, viral hepatitis, mumps, rubella, varicella, variola arboviruses, respiratory syncytial virus, herpes simplex, and a long list of viruses can cause myocarditis. Some of the offending drugs include the chemotherapeutic drugs, certain antibiotics, antihypertensive drugs, anti-seizure drugs, phenytoin in particular, amphetamines, cocaine, and catecholamines, chemicals such as benzene, carbon monoxide, rickettsial causes, bacterial causes, physical agents such as radiation, and systemic inflammatory disease and a long list of other uh, etiological factors but I'm not going into the details and uh, if you are interested uh, in uh, their etiology I will recommend you to go uh, uh, through Brownwald's uh, chapter on heart failure In this slide, the clinical presentation of myocarditis will be discussed and patients with myocarditis may present with mild symptoms of chest pain in uh, concurrent pericarditis. Uh, they may have fever, sweats, chills and dyspnea. In viral myocarditis, patients may have a history of recent within one to two weeks flu-like syndrome of fevers, arthralgias and malaise of or pharyngitis, tonsillitis or upper respiratory tract infection. Adult patients with viral myocarditis op often uh, present with chest pain, arrhythmias, and dyspnea. And their viral signs are typically abnormal and include uh, uh, fever, tachycardia, tachypnea, and hypotension. When we come to the physical examination of such patients, patient with, uh, with myocarditis usually presents with signs and symptoms of acute decompensation of heart failure. And on auscultation, there will be an S3 gallop, jugular venous distension on uh, in general physical examination, peripheral edema, uh, and tachycardia may be present. In those with concomitant pericarditis, uh, you may hear uh, pericardial friction uh, rub. Uh, certain signs are, uh, and clinical findings are specific to uh, special cases. So if a patient has myocarditis secondary to sarcoidosis, these patients uh, will have lymphedema, uh, sorry, lymphadenopathy, arrhythmias, sarcoid involvement in other organs. Uh, patients with acute rheumatic fever will have uh, other signs and symptoms of rheumatic fever uh, as per the Jones criteria such as uh, erythema marginatum or polyarthralgia, scoria or subcutaneous nodules. Patients with hypersensitivity eosinophilic myocarditis have uh, prorhotic 
maculopapular rash and a history of using offending drug. Joints and myocarditis if is the etiology. And these patients usually present with sustained ventricular tachycardia and rapidly progressive uh, heart failure. Uh, uh, female patients with peripartum cardiomyopathy and concomitant myocarditis have heart failure de developing in the last month of pregnancy or within five months following delivery. How we will work up such patients? So endomyocardial biopsy is the criteria standard for the diagnosis of myocarditis, uh, particularly in the following conditions such as adenoviral or enteroviral myocarditis, human herpes virus 6 myocarditis, hypersensitivity myocarditis, eosinophilic cell myocarditis, checkpoint inhibitor related myocarditis, giant cell myocarditis, idiopathic granulomatous myocarditis such as cardiac sarcoidosis. And the Heart Failure Society of America recommends considering endomyocardial biopsy for patients with acute deterioration of heart function of unknown origin that is not responding to medical treatment. <clears throat> uh, other uh, investigations include cardiac enzyme. Uh, cardiac enzymes are elevated uh, in when they are elevated, uh, they point. Uh, for uh, cardiac myonecrosis and cardiac troponin that is troponin I or T in particular is elevated in at least half of patients with biopsy proven myocarditis. Cardiac enzymes may also help to identify patients with resolution of viral myocarditis but negative troponin findings do not exclude a diagnosis of myocarditis. We can also check for antibody teeters but they are generally not required for the diagnosis of viral myocarditis because of its low specificity and the delayed rising of viral teeters, which would have no impact on therapeutic decisions. Teeters typically increase by fourfold in the acute phase and gradually fall during uh, disease progression. Serial teeters may be useful. Imaging uh, that can be um, uh, performed in patients with myocarditis include antimyosin scintigraphy using antimyosin antibody injections and they can identify myocardial inflammation with high sensitivity and negative predictive power but has low specificity and low uh, positive predictive power. Gallium scanning is used uh, to reflect severe myocardial cellular infiltration and has a good uh, negative predictive uh, value uh, but the specific Specificity of a gallium scan is low. PET has been used in selected cases, for example, sarcoidosis to assess the degree and location of inflammation. And the final point is management. Most patients have mild symptoms consistent with viral syndromes and they recover with simple supportive care on an outpatient basis with slow uh, rehabilitation and the implementation of evidence-based medical therapy. Repeat assessment with echocardiography may be helpful to determine the persistence uh, of, my, of cardiac dysfunction. Importantly, non steroidal anti-inflammatory agents should be avoided in the acute phase of myocarditis as their use may impede myocardial healing and actually exacerbate the inflammatory process and increase the risk for mortality. Talking about the definitive treatment of myocarditis, so it's debatable and largely depends upon the underlying etiological factor. But uh, I will uh, discuss what are the common uh, treatment uh, uh, strategies for such patients. Uh, and we all uh, know that uh, because these patients usually present with acute heart failure, so the use of uh, supportive th treatment uh, in the form of diuretics, in the form of vasodilators, uh, the nitrates, nitroprusside, and uh, uh, inhibitors of renin and angiotensin aldosterone system inhibitors uh, are prescribed. Patients with secure, uh, severe decompensation requires inotropic drugs, uh, dibutamine and meldenone, but uh, care should be taken while administering uh, these drugs because they are highly arrhythmogenic. Uh, and in patients with fulminant myocarditis and sinus tachycardia, uh, Always avoid the use of rate control agents, for example, uh, those with negative inotropic properties, including metoprolol, deltazim, and verapamil. So don't prescribe beta blockers and rate limiting calcium channel inhib uh, inhibitors. Now also avoid the use of non steroidal anti inflammatory agents to avoid increasing sodium retention, myocardial harm, and exacerbation of renal hypoperfusion. 
Uh, finally, statins may have uh, a beneficial uh, role in COVID-19 and have been shown to attenuate myocarditis, but additional studies are needed. So with this, uh, I thank you so much. And uh, with this, we come to the end of our presentation. Uh, this was a concise and brief overview of a healthy topic, uh, myocarditis. If you have any questions or queries, please post them in the comment section. And again, I will request you to please subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you so much.